Welcome to Up Degree Clinical Data Management Program using SAS. In this video, we will be discussing about the practical session of clinical data management using SAS. So I'll be using the SAS software to explain you all the practical session. So first topic that we are going to cover now is or the topic that we are going to cover in this video is accessing data that is how to get data sets in SAS environment or how to get data sets in SAS libraries, how to import SAS data sets. In our last video, we have discussed about the different types of libraries that are there in SAS that is permanent library and temporary library. Permanent libraries are the SAS inbuilt libraries as well as the library that we create using the Libnum statement and temporary library is the work library which is by default empty. The data sets that we create in the temporary library or work in our SAS session, the moment we close our SAS session or end our SAS session, those data sets from the work library gets vanished. Only the work library remains. Similarly, the permanent library that we create using the Libnum statement gets vanished once we end our SAS session. Only the SAS inbuilt libraries remains. So now first we'll learn how to create our own library, which will be a permanent library. So that we'll be doing using a libname statement, which is a global statement. So we'll write libname. I'm writing the name of the library as CDM. That is, I'm giving the name of the library as CDM. Then we'll give the path. So see, I'm taking the path of this folder. Then this is a global statement. So it is always executed individually. After we end the statement, we have to give a semicolon. So let's run this code. You do not need a run statement for a libname statement because it's a global statement. So see, this is an empty library we have formed. Okay, now let's learn how to import a data file into this library CDM. We'll be importing a data file, an Excel file, which is a clinical data into our CDM library. For that, we'll be using the procedure called proc import data file. So we are writing proc import data file equals to we have to give the path where our excel file is located so this is the path where our excel file is located we are taking the path from here this is the path of our excel file the data that we are going to work with is data.csv so we will copy the name of the data also we will close the double quotes remember never give semicolon in the proc import data file statement because this is just a line, this is not a complete statement. Then we give our out statement, out equals to cdm dot disease. This means that the data file or the excel file that we are importing, that is data dot csv, that will be created inside the library cdm and the name of the data set will be disease. Like after this data dot csv file comes in the SAS environment, the name of the SAS data set will be disease, which will be created inside the cdm library. Then we are giving the command replace. So after replace, you have to give a semicolon. So this is a total one statement. From proc import till replace is one statement and then run. You can run, write run in a different line or as you know that you can write multiple statements in one line in SAS provided that each statement ends by a semicolon. So that is up to you. But we generally write each statement in each line because that looks more structured and that is conventional. So let's run this code. So see, this is the disease data set. So this is our data set consisting of the patient ID, the gender, the date of birth, the zip code, the employment status of the patient, the education, the marital status, the number of children they have, their ancestry, the, their daily internet use, the number of available vehicles, the military service, whether they have military service or not, and what are the diseases they are suffering. Basically, this data is like that more amount of average commute they have or more amount of daily internet use they have they are more prone to such diseases like for example if a person uses lots a um, lot amount of internet or if a person travels a lot amount of distance so he he or she might suffer from lots amount of hypertension because his or her schedule will be more hectic so this is the this is our data that we are going to work with so in this video we'll be doing till here in our coming video we will be dealing with how to explore our data so we'll be doing few procedures of how to explore our data so for now let's end this video over here thank you goodbye see you all for the next video